friends this is dr sajad wani and this is the third video in the series of videos on j and k judiciary to humne section 102 tak khatam kiya hai ab section 103 this is a very important section it deals with the power of jammu and kashmir high court to issue certain writs jaisa ki aap under constitution of india bhi dekhenge the supreme court has the power to issue writs for the enforcement of fundamental rights under article 32 and the high courts of india have the power to issue writs for the enforcement of fundamental rights and for other purposes under article 226 that means the jurisdiction of high courts is wider as compared to supreme court for issuing writs agar hum j and k uh, high court ki baat karenge to under the constitution of jammu and kashmir the high court of jammu and kashmir has the power to issue writs for other purposes other than those contain under article 32 of indian constitution lekin subsequently the provisions of article 32 they were also applied on the state of jammu and kashmir to is time the high court of jammu and kashmir it can issue writs for the enforcement of fundamental rights as well as for other purposes means means for the enforcement of legal rights as well so there are five types of writs habeas corpus mandamus prohibition quo warranto and certiorari these are the five types of writs which can, which are issued by the supreme court the high court as well as the high court of jammu and kashmir habeas corpus habeas corpus hota kya hai is ki word meaning hai to have the body of matlab ye ek aisa order hota hai which is issued by the court to a person or an authority jisne kisi person ko detain kiya hai and the court asks that authority to produce that person or to produce the body of that person before it aur uske baad court examines the cause court the cause of detention usko examine karta hai aur dekhta hai whether the detention is legal or not agar court ko lage that the detention is illegal or arbitrary the court can set the detained person free this is called as habeas corpus habeas corpus is the bulwark of individual liberty habeas corpus ka matlab kya hai to have the body of ye kya hota hai ek order hota hai which is issued by the court to an authority or to, or to a person who has detained another person and it asks the person to produce the body of the latter and the court ask examines the cause and legality of the detention if the detention is found to be illegal the detained person is set free this is the habeas corpus uske baad mandamus literal meaning means we command it is a command issued by the court to a public official public body corporation or inferior court ya tribunal ya government means it is a command that is issued by the court to any authority which can be a public official or public body corporation inferior court tribunal or government and it asks that authority to perform its duties man lijiye there is an authority there is a government or a public body which is not performing its official duties which it is supposed to perform agar koi authority apna kaam nahi karta ya apna kaam karna nahi chahta ya apna ka ap, apni duties perform nahi kar raha hai if an authority fails to perform its duties or refuses to perform its duties the high court of jammu and kashmir can issue the writ of mandamus to that authority so that the authority is made to perform its duties uske baad aage chalenge prohibition prohibition literal meaning to forbid forbid means rokna it is issued by the high court higher court means here the high court of jammu and kashmir to a lower court ya yeah, tribunal means it is a court to court order it is issued by the higher court means the high court of jammu and kashmir to a lower court or tribunal and it prevents the later that means it prevents the lower court or tribunal from exceeding its jurisdiction or usurping a jurisdiction that it doesn't possess man lijiye lower court ne ऐसा केस लिया है ऐसा डिसीजन दिया है ऐसा ऑर्डर दिया है विच इज नॉट इन इट इज जूरिजिक्शन या ये किसी और अथॉरिटी की जूरिजिक्शन यूजर्व करता है इन बोथ केसेस द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर कैन इशू द रिट ऑफ प्रोहिबिशन एंड इट कैन स्टॉप द लोअर कोर्ट फ्रॉम एक्सीडिंग इट इज जूरिजिक्शन सो दिस रिट इज प्रिवेंटिव इन नेचर इसके बाद सर्च और एरे सर्च और एरे मीन्स टू बी सर्टिफाइड और टू बी इन्फॉर्म्ड 
Like prohibition, it is also issued by the higher court to a lower court or a tribunal. This thing is same. Lekin, yahan bhi kya karta hai? The higher court means the co high court of Jammu and Kashmir. It asks the lower court to transfer case that is pending with the lower court. Kyun? Ye lower court se case transfer karta hai and it can dispose of the case itself. Ya, agar lower co court ne koi order pass kya hai, it can quash the order of the later. <coughs> means, it is both preventive as well as curative. So, if a lower court it exceeds its jurisdiction or it has lack of jurisdiction in a matter or there is an error of law, high court kya kar sakta hai? The high court of Jammu and Kashmir it can issue the writ of certiorari to the lower court and it can transfer the cases pending with the lower court and transfer them to itself or it can quash the orders of the lower court. Means unlike prohibition, prohibition is only preventive, certiorari it is both preventive as well as curative. Means ye, it not only stops the lower court, but it also can decide about a case itself. This is a Q warrant. Q warrant is very common in Jammu and Kashmir. Mein bahut common hai. By what authority or warrant, like when posters are out there, somebody is appointed there and we go for a writ. It is issued by a court to inquire into the legality of claim of a person to a public post. Koi person a public post hold karta hai and some person he can approach the high court and the high court issues the writ of Q warrant to high court a person se pushta hai that by what legality is he holding a public post hence prevents illegal usurpation of a public post by a person. Yahan pe ye yaad rakhna hai in case of four writs jo maine abhi tak aapko bataya hai bias corpus, mandamus, certiorari, prohibition. Only the in aggrieved person can approach the court and the court issues the writ. But in case of Q warrant, any interested person can approach the court. So these were the five types of writs issued by the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir under section 105. Then there is section 100, sorry, under section 103. Now there is section 104, superintendence and control of the subordinate court. You have to remember that the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir, it has the power of superintendence and control over the subordinate courts. Because it has the appellate jurisdiction and the revisional jurisdiction in case of the subordinate courts. Or ye aapko yaad rakhna hai that high court khud rules bana sakta hai, khud kuch guidelines issue kar sakta hai for regulating the practices in the lower courts. Ye apne hisaab se forms prescribe kar sakta hai, jin forms ke hisaab se books, entries and accounts are maintained by the officers in the lower courts. Uske baad section 105, transfer of cases to high court. High court has the power to transfer the cases from the lower courts to itself. If a case involves a substantial question of law as to the interpretation of constitution of Kashmir and India, you have to yaad rakhna hai, agar ek aisa case ho with the lower court, which requires the interpretation of constitution of Jammu and Kashmir and constitution of India. Aapko pata hoga that Supreme Court and High Courts of the States, they have the power of interpreting the constitution because they have the power of judicial review. So, in these cases, the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir, it can ask the lower courts to transfer the case to itself. Phir ye kya kar sakta hai? It can dispose of the case itself. Ye khud case ko dispose kar sakta hai? Ya, it can determine the said question of law in view of the in view of the interpretations of the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir and India, uske baad ye case ko wapas karega to the lower court along with a copy of its decision kyunki apni hesab se ek decision dega in light of the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir and constitution of India. And finally that lower court, it gives its decision in conformity with the judgment of high court. Means under section 105, the high court of Jammu and Kashmir can transfer all cases from the lower courts in view of interpretation of constitution of Jammu and Kashmir or constitution of India when a case involves a substantial question of law. So, ye to khud wo case dispose of kar sakta hai ya ye case ko interpret kar sakta hai, study kar sakta hai, uske baad apni ek judgment de sakta hai. Along with the judgment, it can send the copy of the case to the lower court and the lower court finally gives the judgment. Iske baad section 106, it has been omitted by the First Amendment Act of 1959. Ye aapko yaad rakhne, the section 106 of the Constitution of Jammu and Kashmir has been abolished, omitted by Constitution of Jammu and Kashmir, First Amendment Act of 1959. Uske baad section 107, it 
seal of JNK High Court, the seal, the Jammu and Kashmir High Court should have a seal which contains the name, the seal of the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir. And the stamp or seal should be kept in the custody of registrar of JNK High Court or any officer of the court as the chief justice may designate. Ye aapko yaad rakhne, it is a simple thing. Remember this. Then section 108, officers and servants of the High Court. Ye aapko yaad rakhne hai the Officers or servants of JNK High Court, they are appointed by the Chief Justice of the High Court of Jammu and Kashmir or any other judge or officer who has been given authority by the Chief Justice of High Court. And kabhi kabhi kya hota hai? some of the posters which require the consultation with State Public Service Commission, Jinko Governor consult karta hai after making laws and after consultation with JKPSC and JKPSC wo examination conduct karta hai, uske through recruit hote hai and they are appointed. Uske baad aapko yaad rakhna hai, the conditions of the service of the officers and servants of High Court of Jammu and Kashmir, they are, the rules for them are made by High Court itself, ya aapko yaad rakhna hai, with the approval of governor, this is very important. But this applies only to the officers and servants of the High Court. It, these things don't apply to the judges of High Court. Uske baad, third aapko yaad rakhna hai, the administrative expenses of all the officers and servants of the High Court, like salaries, allowances, pension payable, etc. They are charged upon the consolidated fund of the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Because you will know that in the consolidated fund, there are two types. Hai. One is called the charged consolidated fund. Second is called as voted. The voted part of consolidated fund is subject to vote of legislature. But in charged part of consolidated fund of the state is not subject to vote of the state legislature. These are some of the provisions on about the Jurshin in Jammu and Kashmir. Abhi tak humne high court pe jo articles hain, jo sections hain, wo sare padhe. To in my next video, I will deal with the lower courts. Agar aap, if you have any queries, you can mail me on sajadwani657 at the rate of gmail. You can visit my Facebook, Genesis Academy. Sajadwani, Instagram Dr. Sajadwani and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel Genesis Academy by Dr. Sajadwani and you can also send your video lectures to me and I will scrutinize them and upload them after due scrutiny and I will give due credit to you. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back with another video on Juman Kashmir, Jurshi. Stay tuned.